So I was kind of almost defeated and I was like, Miranda, what do we do? I was like, I, I can't do this. I need something. What do we do to try and relieve some of the overwhelming, some of the stress, but still make it better for the kids? Here we go. I knew the amazing benefits that there were of even just co-teaching with in-person students. I thought, why not give it a shot? I'll turn off our lights, take some deep breaths, and let's get focused. We call them Zoomies and Roomies. The Mindful Minute kind of gives the Zoomies a minute to get on and get logged in and join the class. Good morning, Zoomies. Welcome to Wednesday. Then we have our math leader come up and they start us off by leading. What place value is the foreign? Zero and four tenths. Thank you for saying it with me. I love seeing your mouths move. Today we are going to be doing a collaborative um, slides during the lesson. So we've put them into groups of four or five and they'll get on, there's a couple Zoomies and a couple Roomies and they get to collaborate together by adding comments on the slides. I see Brayden is typing, Mason is thinking. Here comes our names. Thanks Addison, thank you Aubrey. They are working on their slide and their problems, but they can make comments and ask questions to their classmates. Since I let you talk with the partner, we're gonna do our random name selector. You can either share what you said or what your partner said. Karar, did he have an idea? He did. What did you think the value of that four is? 40. Oh, you're, you're getting there, buddy. You're getting there. Since I'm only focusing, you know, primarily on the Zoomies, I can constantly check on what's going on as opposed to going back and forth between room conversations and Zoom conversations. I know Bill Nye is interesting, but that's not where we're at right now. Come back, please. I let them know, this is what I see you doing. You have a great point. Let's make sure we share it in class. Thanks, Karar. I see that you're done, buddy. I was looking at your screen. I would like one person to share from our room and one Zoomie to share. Aubrey, I'm going to call on you, OK? It's not, here's the roomies, here's the Zoomies. It's all one. So we get to um, interact with other people in the class, so, so we won't be lo uh, lonely. The Zoomies really love hearing from people at school and getting to see those classmates that they saw every day last year. Before we joined with Ms. Hansen's class, it kind of felt like we only could like, talk to each other. But then when they joined, it felt like then we had like more people than just ourselves to talk to. Now since the Zoomies joined, we have more people to talk to. We learn something new every day. We have similar techniques since mm -hmm. I learned a lot from her, so. Morgan was my student teacher two years ago. So she was able to work with me all year long that year. We definitely know each other's strengths and areas um, that we excel in. And so I think it's definitely been easier to plan. Um, but also we just already have the history together. So it's easy for us to just dive right in. We wanted to make sure that it was as evenly split as possible between who would be leading the roomy instruction and who would be leading the zoomy instruction. So we took the core subject areas and just sort of split them in half. So it's really been a divide and conquer. If for some reason you get kicked out, you can always come back in. The code is up on the top of the screen. P I have definitely been forced into new areas that I hadn't explored before. I had never really played around with different technology tools. Learning more about those and implementing them has definitely been a silver lining. I will say also, I mean, <laughs> I think I've been forced into a situation of really looking at the priorities as well. You, it's not all about how fancy or pretty something is, it's about how am I gonna get the content in the best way. 
um, with the resources I have. Nice job. This one's a little bit different. I like choice C right now. 30 seconds, get those dots where you want them. I see Mason has his dots moved. Some of you are kind of starting to move them, I can tell. So that is a fact, fact. not a good choice. Up. We just kept hoping no one's going to tell us we have to stop. <laughs> This can just keep going. Even if we go to red and remote, we're gonna figure out how to make this keep going. There's a lot of stuff going on in the world. We can handle it, we're fifth graders.